All right, just a quick video showing some scriptures that further refute the Calvinist error of regeneration preceding faith, because that's one of the, the things of Calvinism, because in Calvinism, you have no free will whatsoever. So, and, and some, you may have some Calvinists who will deny that, but you have no free will to accept Christ. You're totally depraved, and there's no, and basically that's why they come to this thing of regeneration coming before faith, because God has to regenerate you before you're granted the act of faith plain and simple. I've done other videos addressing a lot of the Calvinist heresy, so I'm not going to you know, explain the entire system of Calvinism. The bottom line is, is that it is a, an attack on the gospel. Same thing with the other extreme end of plag uh, Pelagianism, because you know, the whole Calvinist Pelagian uh, argument, it's a false dichotomy. They're, they're two extreme opposites of each other, both of which are not, are not scriptural whatsoever. So I could cover that as well, but it's, you know, false dichotomy, but uh, here's some just some scriptures that, that make an issue for this thing of regeneration preceding faith. John chapter 1 verse 31, but these are written that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you might have life through his name. Now, you're going to notice a consistent theme of believing resulting in life through his name, not vice versa. Because why? Faith comes before, because you see, faith is, is, when, is, when, is salvation, you know, the moment that God saves you. Regeneration, sanctification, everything else, that's the lifetime process of, you know, the Holy Ghost coming in and cleaning your life up. That's the big difference. Okay, and you're going to see that as a consistent theme in these verses. John 5, 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Again, you see life after the belief. John chapter, again in John 5, verse 39 to 40, says, Search the scriptures, something Calvinists don't do very often, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me, and ye will not come to me that you might have life. Again, notice that. Ye will not come to me, what's the result, if they did, that you might have life. It's after, not before. But you see, the Calvinists would say, oh, no, 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 it's actually before, and then you're granted the act of faith. Plain and simple. Calvinism is, is based on eisegesis. Plain and simple. They have to read their own theology into the text. They'll take verses out of context, cherry-pick verses. They won't compare scripture with scripture. You know, because it's a man-based, man-centered, man-glorifying theology. Plain and simple. I mean, it's called Calvinism. It's named after a man. So, I wanted to show you guys that. Just three simple verses that make it a big issue for this thing of regeneration preceding faith. So, don't be deceived by Calvinism, and don't be deceived by the other extreme end of Pelagianism either. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.